Don't hit the floor. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that was nice. And then the flip into the ground. <laughs> Not great. Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I'm checking out the Drone Racing League Simulator on Steam just to get a sense of how FPV drones handle and what I can capture from an FPV drone so that as I progress to the tiny FPV drone that I'll be reviewing in the coming weeks I'll have a little bit more of an understanding on how to fly it and then I really want to get to a heavy duty FPV drone and really dive into that community and get a sense of what it is all about really because it's extremely exciting and you can't capture any footage like what you can get from an FPV drone. So if you haven't subscribed already then make sure to subscribe and smash that notification bell as it will keep you up to date with all of my future videos. But let's jump into this right now. So the graphics first off, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, first off are uh, pretty low. I was having issues with my computer running Drone Racing League Simulator. Oh, I'm sucking right now. Um, yeah, I was really struggling with the performance, so hopefully everything's fine now, but it is in 720p, I believe, so the quality isn't going to be fantastic, uh, but that's just so my computer can basically run it. Anyway, uh, definitely completely different. Ooh, ooh, mm, oh, damn. I would have destroyed my drone in the real world. Uh, yeah, it's weird to get used to this compared to the cinematic drones that just hover and hold their position and are locked onto multiple satellites. You really need to keep the momentum with an FPV drone. Let's see if I can flip over this crane. What was that? Oh, damn. Luckily, it's very forgiving. Luckily, there are a few things you can actually fly through without it having issues. I can really appreciate now how hard it is to pull off those amazing shots that some of these FPV pilots can pull off. It really is amazing. And I can see how you've really got to keep that momentum going when you're flying and when you want to get those really interesting, unique sweeping shots. Not like that, not like that at all. <laughs> and then I crash into the roof. All right, let's get into this. So I've started to get used to the kind of momentum Definitely nowhere near used to the actual control. Like, that was a nice smooth little shot there. Oh yeah, nice. That was cool. And then, actually balancing the drone, the drone, back out again. That's kind of the tricky part, because you've got this angle, and then you need to kind of flatten it out. Oh, there you go, that's kind of cool. Damn, that wasn't too bad. Alright, well, am I a professional drone pilot yet? I guess I am. It is pretty interesting how it controls. Like, it definitely, definitely takes a lot of time to get used to. Don't hit the floor. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that was nice. And then the flip into the ground. <laughs> Not great. Not great at all. What am I doing? Okay, get out of there. So it really is all about momentum, which a lot of pilots have told me it's really getting used to those fine movements and keeping that momentum and not trying to hit any sort of roof or anything, which I'm struggling to do. Whoa, that's trippy as. All right, so let's see what we can do with this train. Ooh, whoa, that was insane. I love this banking where you can actually get that crazy lean on it and then I just really need to get used to flattening it back out again. Flattening it back out again. Alright, let's check out this blimp. Ooh, what is happening? Oh, this is the signal. I see, it's having issues with the signal. Which is obviously a, a real thing that FPV pilots experience. So let's go into this blimp. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Look at that control, guys. Drone Racing League, sign me up. Ooh, maybe not. I've crashed a lot. And luckily, no damage to an actual drone. Imagine if I just took out a fully fleshed FPV drone and tried to fly like this. Yeah, wouldn't have much luck, would I? And also trying to fly around an airport. Yeah, probably not the best idea. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that was all right. Oh, that definitely made contact, but luckily my drone didn't crash. 
Again, very forgiving. I think if that happened in the real world, your drone would be destroyed. But this is really cool, like, definitely over time you start to pick up the fine movements a little bit more. I'm not saying I'm good. I'm not saying I'm great. I'm not even saying I'm okay. I'm pretty terrible, but... You know, after you kind of concentrate a little bit and get used to these sweeping motions, you can then oh, start implementing flips. So like as I go through here, for example, you can then try to kind of flip and do weird little things. But if you guys have seen my series featured drone pilots, you would see some amazing FPV shots from some of the greatest pilots all around the world. Uh, that's one of my favorite series on the channel so far. There's some amazing edits from different people and it's been amazing to have all these different people involved and really showing off what they can do with their FPV drones. They all have their own little unique flair and after flying this simulator for a short period um, and obviously I don't know how accurate this is in comparison to actually flying a real FPV drone um, I'd imagine it'd be relatively decent, seeing as this is from the official Drone Racing League team. But, yeah, you can definitely see how everyone has their own little flair and how a location like this, for example, it's a creative space, really. It's a playground that all different pilots would have a different way of flying, different way of taking certain obstacles, and uh, different confidence levels as well. Like, a lot of the time... You know, these are expensive drones that they have to build and then repair, and they don't want to crash, obviously, so they have certain confidence levels and certain things that they're willing to do, and obviously they crash quite a lot as well, like, look how bad I'm flying right now. But over time, you get used to certain flight paths, you get used to certain controls, I guess, and it, it does become kind of second nature, I guess, like, some things... I've seen from different people, it just seems so care like carefree and easy almost. Like they just fly through the tiniest gaps, they bank around crazy tight ob obstacles and objects and create some really amazing cinematic shots, which you really can't capture from any other piece of equipment. Uh, you know, even like a, a camera crane or any form of like, you know, actual drone, like a video or photography drone, like you can't get these shots, you can't get this swooping shot over a crane like that and then smash right down, level that out, and then over a building. Like, that is not going to happen with any other drone but an FPV racing drone. Oh, that was pretty close. Let's go back to this blimp. Um, but yeah, this is just a short little video. Uh, my computer's definitely struggling to do this, to actually record this while I am playing the game and also using my microphone to record. It's hitting, like... 97% for my GPU, uh, so I probably don't really want to make this video too long, um, but I thought I would just kind of show what my early experiences are like with the Drone Racing League simulator, and then from there I will hopefully improve and get to a point where I can actually fly a legit FPV drone and really get into that space, because since I've started Eye in the Sky Clothing and really connected with all these FPV pilots, I've definitely started to really appreciate what actually goes into it and how challenging it really is to fly an FPV drone. Um, so I really want to get into that space, I want to learn it more, oh that was pretty good, and um, create some of these unique shots that you can't get from any other piece of filming equipment. It's quite remarkable. I don't know what the hell I'm doing now. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, make sure to have a fantastic day, uh, subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell if you haven't already, and... Peace out.